the object library in Archicad. I've opened up a, a blank template, which means there's not much in the way of additional information than what everyone should be able to have access to. I believe I'm using the Australian version, uh, but this is also uh, the, just the standard object library. So where do we find this? Where do we find what libraries we have? This is under Archicad, sorry, file, libraries and objects, library manager. And this will show us all the different libraries we have in here. If I expand this slightly. So we see I'm using version 22, and this is the standard things in here. We can create our own libraries. I'm going to talk about that a bit later. We can import past libraries. Um, these are often we call migration libraries, and that's if we're starting a project in a previous version and we're needing to update it to a newer version. And because Archicad brings out a new version of Archicad every year, we might find that we have projects spanning over multiple years, so it's important to be able to migrate. It's also very hard to backdate from version, say, 22 back to 21, because if you've got an object that's only created in 22, it doesn't work in version 21, so we have to work around that as well. Here we see we've got libraries in project and we've also got embedded libraries. The way that I like to describe this is embedded means they're part of the file. Libraries in project means that they're linked and effectively where this becomes important is the size. If a library is embedded in the file, it's going to make the file size larger. Whereas the, if the library is linked, it's not an issue. So we'll have a, a bit of a look at that later. If we need to import a library, libraries in project, we can go add. And then we can search through our folders. Um, I'm using a, a P, uh, I'm using a Mac, not a PC. If we're using a, uh, a PC, it's slightly different. So if I want to import the standard object library or find the object libraries on a Mac, we find that under applications. Now Archicad is created by a company or at least it used to be called Graphisoft, I think it's probably a subsidiary now. Um, and I've only got two versions um, on my computer at the moment which is Archicad 22 in the student version and the Archicad SE 2018 which stands for Start Edition. Uh, the Start Edition is a reduced version of Archicad, which is great for uh, professionals who maybe don't need visualization. And the student version, of course, is used for academic purposes only. So I'm going to go into my Archicad 22 student version. And then this is all of the, the files of Archicad. And the ones that I would particularly be interested in here is the Archicad Library 22 and the Archicad Migration Libraries. We see there are other folders here like Cine Render, and of course I can bring in other ones. And there's old Archicad migration libraries. I haven't added anything in here. This is just the standard setup. Uh, later on in a, a later video, I'll show you how we can add additional ones and, and how we might want to save that. If I double click this, it's going to take this into the libraries and the folders within the Archicad library. I don't really want to do that because otherwise I need to import things separately. If I want to import the whole thing in one go, I'm going to select that library and press choose. Now, of course, that's already in here, so I don't want to double up, but that's this one here, Archicad Library 22. We can press reload and apply, and or we can press OK, and that will do that anyway. Warning. You will often find when you open up an Archicad file, you'll end up with a warning, which talks about duplicate library parts or missing library parts. It's not something that you should be enormously worried about if your file is working fine. It's very common to have duplicated library parts or missing library parts. Of course, it would be better to get rid of it, but if you're using a, an older file that's often had a lot of older versions of Archicad, you might find that that is a reason why it... Um, it has all of these. So like you would have seen, there's a lot of images. These are TIFF-based files, which are duplicated. So it's not a big deal because these are linked libraries, so they're not massively slowing down my file. If these are TIFF files, image files, they're very, they could be very large files. And if these were embedded in my Archicad file, then that could make my file very, very large. 
and very, very slow. So as much as possible, even though the embedded library is sort of a good idea, I'd recommend that you avoid it as much as possible, that you link your libraries, that you do not embed your libraries. So now let's go into it and have a look. Where do we find our object tool? Over in our toolbox on the left hand side. Any object that we want mostly, we find here. And when we go in to our linked library, you'll see that I don't have anything in my embedded library. If we go into the linked libraries, then it's broken up into basic, visualization, and add-ons. And of course, we can scroll through these through our sort of navigator view or through each folder view. And most of these have both three-dimensional and two-dimensional aspects. If I reduce these under the basics, you can read these for yourself. I don't need to say them all. We do find that we have the 2D elements. And then when we go into the 2D elements, let's go to vehicle symbols, for instance. Then we have a two-dimensional symbol, but we can see that we can actually choose what view that is. So do I want a top view, a side view, front or rear? And that's not necessarily the case for all of these two-dimensional symbols. Sometimes they only have one option. Sometimes they have different possibilities within each. So you can do them in different ways. So these are the part of the library. What's under our visualization? Let's reduce the basic. Side improvements and people. We, so we see this is a smaller list. And then we have our add-on library. Roof maker library. So roof timbers and specialties. So there's not a lot in the add-on library to be honest. We can import our own, we can create our own. Creating libraries could be very simple. We could create a slab and call it a library. We could take a object, let's find a chair. Uh, let's use the stool and we'll use this method. We'll place the stool. Let's view this in 3D. So this is an object in Archicad. This object has a variety of settings. I can change those settings if I want to. And with most things in Archicad, we could also say I want to select and convert this into a morph. And when I take an object and turn it into a morph, it breaks it down into small elements. So I could then grab that and edit it like a morph. I can adjust it, I can shrink it, I can resize it, I can take edges and offset them. So I could get rid of these feet, I could make them bigger, I could change it around as much as I wanted to, I could trim the top, I could trim the bottom, I could make the seat shorter or taller, let's grab this surface. Let's go fill it. So I could make any changes that I wanted to in a three-dimensional modeling way and then I could resave this as a custom-made object. I couldn't resave it as the original object, but I could save it as my own object and save that into a library by going File, Libraries and Objects, New Object. I also have Save Selection as Object, depending on what I'm trying to do. So we can create our own objects and of course we can import objects and we have so many of those available. Uh, and so in the next video, we'll have a look at how we could go about that process of importing objects and where we could get those from.